All right, so this is going to be a short little video. There's just a couple of little things I want to fix that are driving me a little crazy. If we jump into our level. First off, see our light up here? It's off right now, and that's good. If we use our switch, it switches on. Now, if we immediately jump out and then try our level out again, he's back on. Now, generally speaking, this wouldn't be much of a problem if you were making the game to, as something that you'd you know, send out to a player, but just to be on the safe side, we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is right-click, grab a new event, and let's do Level Loaded. I'm just going to drag this up here all by itself for just a moment. And I'm going to right-click again, choose New Action, and come down to Material Instance. And we're going to grab set vector param. Now we need to feed this the material instance that's plugged into our light. If you don't know what that is or where it is, an easy way to find it is to grab the static mesh in question, double click it, expand static mesh actor, static mesh component, expand rendering, expand materials, and then click the little magnifying glass button next to the material. So now we have that selected. Now let's go back into Kismet, select our set vector param, and we'll click the little green Use Selected Object and Content Browser button, and now that's plugged in. Now we just need the param name, which in our case is Light Color. So, when the level is loaded and visible, we're going to set the Light Color parameter in our Material Instance to Black, which is the default color. So now if we test that out, the light's off when we start off, and it's always going to be off when we start off, which is good. The other thing, and actually, let me just demonstrate this too, because this is driving me crazy. So light comes on, that's awesome. Cool camera flash, deadly robot coming to kill us. Listen when I kill this guy. First blood. We get the first blood announcement, which is all well and good. It's just, this isn't a deathmatch environment, so I don't want to listen to that. So what we're going to do is nullify that. We're going to switch off announcements. Let's jump back into Kismet. Right here next to our level-loaded event, I'm going to right-click, go to New Action, scroll down to Voice and Announcements, and choose Toggle Announcements. Now we're going to simply connect that from the level-loaded invisible to Disable, and now announcements are switched off. So let's give that a quick test. Unit in position. And there we go. Now, no more voice telling us that we drew first blood. I don't mind the little screen thing. That's all well and good. But now the announcer switched off. So that's really all I wanted to do here. So we'll leave things that simple. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to make that fight a bit more intense by giving our robot an interesting way to manage his health. I'll leave it at that and I'll see you in the next video.